So with most AR glasses out there on the market, they're either too bulky or need a phone or a cable attached to them in order to work or just look way too futuristic to wear every single day. And that's the biggest problem with AR tech today. It's cool tech, but not actually useful in real life. But that's where I think that these Air 3s from our sponsor Inmo are a little different. They're actually the world's first all-in-one AR glasses with a 1080p full color waveguide display. And these almost look like everyday glasses, but they pack some serious power inside. And in this video, we're gonna do some tests with them and see if it's something worth getting into. So here's what you can expect. A giant 150 inch cinema screen floating in front of you, a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera for capturing life on the go, a Snapdragon XR our processor with multitasking support and even a smart ring that lets you control everything with just a flick of your hand. Stick around because I'll be showing you real world use cases like outdoors, gaming, and even work to see if these live up to the hype. All right, let's start off with the unboxing. The first thing we get is the user guide. Then we have this little ring that goes on your finger. Then we have the glasses themselves in this nice protective box. And I think this is the carrying case for it as well. And in this little box, we have the sunglasses cover that go onto the glasses themselves for better visuals in extreme sunlight. And then we have the cables for charging and also a cable to charge the little smart ring. And there's a little box here for the touch screen controls that you actually can get with these glasses. Let's move this aside and open up this ring. As you can see, it has a touch screen on the top and we have two buttons on the side to control these glasses and one on the left side. And finally, let's open up the main box where these glasses are. Holy moly. These are pretty cool. Look at this. These are not as chunky as I expected them to be. They look pretty sleek, like a pair of glasses. And flat lenses, they're pretty lightweight. And honestly, if you walked around the streets with these, most people probably wouldn't even assume that they are air glasses. But of course, the tech community knows exactly what these are, but I'd say that they aren't too big to where it's clearly obvious. And unlike other brands, these are actually all in one, meaning that you don't need a phone to be connected to them or any additional cables or battery packs or anything like that, just like the Vision Pro does. And I know that the Vision Pros aren't an AR glasses, but these are just an example of what's kind of out there. So essentially you just wear them, power them on and you're good to go. So it's a pretty huge deal if you wanna use them outdoors, whether it's at the beach, camping, fishing or traveling. So now let's talk about the specs because this is where the Air 3s really stand out. First, the display. It's a 1080p Sony Micro OLED panel with 600 nits of brightness and it's pretty sharp considering considering the size, and most importantly, it's actually visible even in bright daylight. And thanks to the included shades, it improves it even more so, letting you see everything on the display. You also get a 36 degree ultra wide field of view, which feels like watching a 150 inch cinema screen hovering in front of you, which is actually pretty awesome for watching movies, YouTube, or gaming, which we'll do later in this video. And then of course, there is privacy, and Enmo uses a one dimensional expanded exit pupil waveguide, which basically means only you see the screen. So no one sitting right next to you can actually peek on and see what you're doing. For control, you have the 3DOF floating screen plus the smart ring. And this ring gives you three different interaction modes and even mouse mode that makes it feel like you're actually navigating a tablet. And powering all of this is the Snapdragon XR processor with eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. And this means that you can run up to three floating screens at one time, each doing different tasks, like YouTube on one screen, email on another, and maybe a document on the third. All right, now let's put them to the test in real life. And first up is outdoor viewing. So I loaded up YouTube and Netflix while sitting outside, and yes, 
case, even under strong daylight, the screen is still pretty bright and crisp thanks to these shades that are included. And watching movies on what feels like a private 150 inch theater screen while sitting anywhere outside is pretty impressive. And as for gaming on the Inmo Air 3s, I've downloaded Call of Duty Mobile and connected this controller to it because this thing has a Snapdragon XR processor. And let's go into this free for all gameplay and see what I can do, bang. Good start right there. I did join a lobby that was already in progress, so I don't know. Ugh. I did not see him. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. So far, it's very nice and smooth. The gameplay is woo, really well. I like it a lot. Let's go and see what we can do. Oh, come on. I'm not used to playing on a controller, but so far, this is really, really good. Let's get that guy, come on. Okay, I feel like they're cheating. <laughs> or I'm in a very good lobby. Let's, let's hope for I'm on a very good lobby. Again, controls for me are not perfect. But so far, it is really well. Oh, we got a sentry gun. And I think there is some glitches with the screen capture. As I'm recording this, uh, there's some glitch there. But overall, without the screen capture, the gameplay is really good. It's actually playable with this massive 150 inch screen right in front of me. This feels really nice and intuitive. Boom, come on, oh, come on. Got him. Let's see. I'm definitely not gonna win this round, but I did win before. Uh, <laughs> very tough. So yeah, the gameplay on this is very, very good. And I was definitely surprised of how well this played with the controller, mind you, and on this massive screen right in front of me. That was pretty incredible. And then for work, I connected these to a PC and open up a virtual keyboard, and then I can actually start editing documents or working on emails, and having multiple floating screens makes multitasking so much smoother than just using a laptop. It's like having a whole new desk setup, but it's all virtual inside your glasses that only you can see. So this would be great for for planes or traveling, so we'd have to test that out later and fly with these this year. And as far as the camera goes, I actually love that it's right in the center instead of on the sides with the Ray-Ban Metas, which actually you can see that it's slightly off to the left when you're viewing back your videos. And what's cool with these is that they're actually 16 megapixels with 120 degree ultra wide. But one thing to note is that Inmo is still fine tuning and polishing the user experience on these glasses. And with software updates, you'll be able to record in both horizontal and vertical modes and utilize that 16 megapixel camera. And the images and videos you see have artifacts due to the photo transfer that will get fixed when consumers receive this product. And here's some examples for videos and pictures so let me know in the comments below if these are good enough to keep in your camera roll now as far as the competition out there there are X real that I've actually used before I still have them but the problem with these is as you can see they have no power they have no battery they have nothing that are standalone on this device. So in order for it to actually work, you have to grab this cable that comes with it, plug it in, plug it into either an iPhone or a MacBook or a Windows computer, and you're tethered to this cable right here, but not with these Air 3s. These are all standalone, which is pretty nice. So put these on, and now I have a screen that's only doing one thing and it's mirroring my iPhone, and that's it. So there's a big difference with these glasses and the Air 3s, and it's a big one, because these are 
actually stand alone and I've not seen this yet before. And privacy is also a big one with others. People nearby can actually see sometimes what's on your display. But with the Air 3s, again, the display is for you and no one else. And these are light and stylish enough that I'd actually wear them in public. For us, that's the key difference in that they're not just AR glasses you try once, they're something you could realistically use daily. So with all that said, the Inmo Air 3s finally deliver what AR glasses should have been that were promised for years. A lightweight, stylish design that actually works anywhere. Whether you're traveling, gaming, working remotely, or just want a private movie theater in your pocket. These bring all of this together in one single package. They're not just a cool gadget, they're actually practical. And that's what makes them stand out. And if you wanna check them out for yourself, I'll have all of the links in the video description and the pinned comment below. And you let me know if it's something you'd actually wear day to day. So go ahead and subscribe above and check out more videos over there. I'm Ben and we'll see you in the next one.